Hello, we are home. We got back last night from my parents' house, and then on the way home, we stopped at Six Flags, stayed for the day with some friends of ours. We had so much fun. I'm opening the blinds, if that's what you're wondering what the noise is. The kids asked, Mom, can we please not do school tomorrow? We're so tired, and I thought, you know, after a whole week at Grandma and Grandpa's house, and a whole day at Six Flags playing and hanging out with your friends. I mean, that's a really rough week. Don't you think I should give them the day off from school? I mean, poor guys. They've just been so... They've worked so hard, haven't they? <laughs> it is tiring, though. Like, today when I got up, I could not get out of bed. My covers were warm. I finally got out of bed and put on my panda onesie. It's like wearing my warm covers around the house with me, and I really like my panda onesie. Let me show you my hat. Look, isn't it cute? The only thing it doesn't have, there's no tail. There's no tail back there. So that kind of rots, but it's still warm and fluffy and cute, and I wonder if it gets cold in China where the panda bears really live. I thought today I would make the kids a nice breakfast. So I'm making them French toast. Do you guys like French toast? It's pretty yummy. We had fun at Six Flags. We rode rides all day and stood in lines and rode rides and stood in more lines. And it wasn't too hot because things have started cooling off for the fall. And so we had a really good time. And it's always fun to meet friends and it was fun. Are you guys scared of roller coasters? I didn't even think about asking you that. Tell me if you're scared of them. Or do you like riding all of them or the scariest ones? What are your favorite parks and what's your favorite ride at the park? So you tell me, should I have gotten my kids up for school or should I get my kids up for school and make them do it or let them sleep? What do you guys think? Oh, and if you're wondering, we homeschool. I didn't want to confuse any of you guys. We homeschool and we've been homeschooling since they were both in preschool. Oh my goodness, I just looked at my subscribers and uh, noticed that we're close to 100. And so I think we're going to be getting that pretty quickly. And I wanted to ask you guys if you wanted to do a question and answer with me. I've had some of you ask me that. That's been one of your requests. So I thought I'd throw that out there. And if you do, then we'll have to think of like a great hashtag for you. Let's see. Hmm. If you want a Q&A, then go ahead and ask me questions or you can ask anything, you know, you want to know about family, our family or if you have personal questions you want me to answer, any of that kind of stuff, just hashtag anything on any social media hashtag ask mom that that should do it and then I'll find it and uh, we'll go from there someone's following me all around the kitchen today let's see if I can find him there he is it's my bunny that's Benjamin here you go Benjamin there he goes he loves it so much do you think I should get, take the kids up breakfast and give them breakfast in bed? Hmm. Or is that being too nice of a mom? <laughs> I mean, it's normal to have your mom serve you breakfast in bed, right? In a panda onesie? Sure. They're both still sleeping. So here we go. Nelson! Good morning! Good morning! Hi. Say hi to YouTube land, to all hey. my all my friends. Guess what I did? What? I brought you breakfast. I like breakfast. You like breakfast? Mm -hmm. I thought I'd come wake you up since it's getting later and you could have breakfast in bed. Yay. Because otherwise it was getting cold. So I thought I would bring it up here to you. Okay, thanks. There you go. What is it? French toast. I like French toast. You like French toast? Why is As it he... so cold in here? I know. Do you see what I have on? I was debating putting that on last night. You should put your panda onesie on now and we can be twins. And then we can show my friends 
Guess mm. what? What? I have almost a hundred subscribers. That's awesome. So I'm doing <clears throat> a little celebration with it. <laughs> when we get a hundred subscribers, I figured we could do a hashtag ask mom mm -hmm. questions and do a Q&A. What do you think? That'd be cool. Yeah? Okay, so you guys ready to go give Savannah her breakfast? Okay. So don't eat, don't wait to eat it because it's going to get cold. Okay. Unless I fall asleep. <laughs> Unless you fall asleep? Okay. Okay, now we have Savannah's. And we're gonna go surprise her. Savannah! No, don't do it to me. Don't do it to you? No. <laughs> My kids have already gotten used to me carrying around a camera and they know when I'm coming. They're like, no, don't do this to me. But you see her hair. No. But guess what? I brought you breakfast in bed. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, thank you. I try to be nice. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> it's French toast. Yay. And I'm in a panda onesie. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, the panda, panda onesie is bringing me breakfast. It's cold. I know it is. That's why I have a bed. So, do you guys make your bed every day or... You just leave it, or do you make it sometimes? I try to make my bed every day because if you make your bed every day, then about 80% of your room looks cleaner, even if the rest of it isn't. There's a peeb dressed up like a panda. Hi. A reverse colored panda. <laughs> a warm, fuzzy panda. True. Hi. And there's Savannah Bushy. behind the box. Halloween Oreos and the Star Wars graham crackers. So I thought I'd take you guys on a walk with me. And look how pretty, everything's so pretty today. The leaves are gonna start turning colors and so I thought you could keep me company while I'm walking. While I'm walking, I just wanted to tell you that a lot of us fear loss. I mean, we all fear loss. We want to hold on to our friends. We want to hold on to our family and that's something that um, we all are scared of is, is losing the people we love and care about or doing the wrong thing and chasing someone away. Oh, it's so windy and cold. Okay, waiting for the car. This is that awkward time when they're probably gonna, they're gonna let me go and then I feel awkward walking across the sidewalk. Should I walk? Should I run? Anyway, okay, so back to my my little story. I think there's this whole element of trying to control our environment. Ooh, my eyes are watering. Cold wind. <laughs> there's this whole element of trying to control our environment a little and the people around us and trying to not let everybody see all our dirty laundry because, oh my goodness, what if they don't like us and reject us and we lose them? So we pull away and we don't tell people what we really think or how we really feel because we're worried about rejection and that's always been one of my biggest fears what about rejection and people not liking me my husband just walked by just drove by in his car and i should have introduced you guys you haven't met him yet maybe another time maybe when i get home so if i keep getting distracted these wa this walk and talk thing might not work so okay where was i yes we all fear rejection and loss and people not understanding us a fear of misunderstanding that's always a big one too you can't you cannot control other people you just can't and you cannot control how they feel you just have to be you comfortable in your own skin but at the same time you know i totally understand you can't just spread your dirty laundry out for everybody and tell everybody how you feel there's so many people in this world and I mean, I know that you have certain people that you're close to and certain people that you love, and especially with family, you don't want to be rejected by them because you always want to make them proud. I always did. I always wanted my parents to be proud of me, and so I always tried my best to make them that way. But there's just this whole thing of just being yourself too and being who you are, true to you. and not trying to control everyone else around you because it just doesn't work, believe me, it doesn't. And people are gonna be your friend because they fall in love with your heart, because they fall in love with who you are, not because of 
certain music that you like or don't like or something you tell them or don't tell them. And if people are that shallow, I mean, I mean, it might hurt, but let them go. I guess I don't even really know what I'm trying to say except for the fact that just let go. Don't try to control everybody in your life as far as making sure, oh my God, you know, living in fear all the time. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't live in fear about what if I lose this person or what if I lose all my friends. You'll always have other friends. There'll always be other people that come into your life and appreciate you. And if you have friends that you do lose, that just makes room for friends that will appreciate you more for who you are in the future. If you have people that come and go, it's okay because you'll have others to come. But you be solid and strong in who you are. You're valuable in and of yourself. And find your find value in yourself. Don't have you don't have to find your identity. That's the word I want. You don't have to find your identity in someone else. You're important just as you are. And you're Identity is not wrapped up in other people. It doesn't matter how many followers or subscribers or any of that kind of stuff you have or don't have, or if someone's not talking to you because they're mad at you or whatever, if you're being excluded at school because maybe some of the other kids are being mean, just because how others treat you or don't treat you, that doesn't change your value. You're you, no matter how other people treat you. Look at where I'm walking. Nice bridge. Can you guys see anything or is this like all backlit? And there's a ton of Canadian geese. It's so pretty here. I'm fixing to show you these geese. They may all go running. I don't know. I got chased by a goose when I was a kid. A little kid who was guarding its nest. So I've always had a healthy respect for geese. See them? There's some out in the water and there's some here on the grass. Say hi guys. And there's my shadow. And you, the way I talk to you. You see my little phone? Yep, see they're starting to get in the water. But I'm glad they found that little pond. It's so cute. So, just got back from my walk. And guess who's out here? Can you see? There he is. Hi, honey. Who's that? What you doing? Who's what that? Well, these are my friends from yeah. YouTube. Hi. <laughs> they hadn't met you yet. Oh. They've met me, of course, and Savannah and Nelson, but I just realized they haven't met you. So this is the other part of our family. Do <laughs> you look at all cute in your little plaid flannel? Yeah. <laughs> so there's a close-up. Hello. Hi. Everybody. So I went on my four mile walk and I came home and look, oh, she's he's rubbing getting, my feet, she's that's getting, sweet. Getting her foot massaged, my turn. <laughs> well, it's the end of another week and time to say goodbye again. I hope you guys have a good one and remember, you are cherished. Yep, you're cherished, don't forget it and have a good week, okay?